Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we will understand our question. The program has to accept the integer n as the input and also get the binary value of n. Then after that, the program must modify the binary value based upon some conditions. So the condition is if the if there are consecutive zeros it must so if there are consecutive zeros it must be replaced with the count that is we have 0 0 0 means the count of 0 is 3 so the output should be 3 3 3 so if we have 1 0 0 1 means first we will have 1 then after that the count of 0 is 2 so it will be repeated for 2 times so finally we have to print the binary value of the modified one so first we are accepting the integer n then the binary value of n then the program must modify the binary value based upon some conditions so if there are consecutive zeros it must replace the, the count finally we have to print the binary value of the modified one now let us take our test case so here the integer n is 25 so this is the binary value of n so our output will be like first we'll have one and again we have another one so after that we can see zeros occurring two times for the two consecutive times so for that we'll have the variable called zero count initially it will be zero so when zero is occurring it will be incremented by one then again zero is occurring it will be again incremented by one so it becomes two so the count of zeros is two so it, the zero count will be repeated for zero count times so since the count is two it will be repeated for two times so two two and after that we have one then we have to get the binary representation of this number so the binary value of this number is this so this will be our final output now let us take our second test case so here the integer n is 274 the binary value of 274 is this now we have the variable called zero count equal to zero so first we'll have one then after that initially zero count is zero then after that we have zeros occurring so incremented by one then again incremented by one then again incremented by one so the count is three now now we should uh, repeat zero count for zero count times so three 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 then after that we have one so the zero count will become zero so after getting one now you can see again we have two consecutive zeros 
so it will be incremented accordingly so it will become 2 so we will have 0 count for 0 count times so it is 2 2 and after that you can see we have a 1 so the 0 count will become 0 and again we have 1 0 so it will be incremented by 1 so then we have 1 at last so the binary value of this number is this this will be our final output. Let us implement the program. First, we'll get the input integer n. Then, we'll get the binary value of n by using the bin function. So, we use the slice operator. As you know, we have zero beep prefix. Then, we'll have the variable called zero count equal to zero. Then we we'll have the result num equal to empty string then for bit in bind value if the bit is equal to equal to 1 so since it is the string we have used quotes here though if bit is equal to equal to 1 then the result num will be incremented with the zero count times then the zero count is equal to zero. Then after that, this one should be appended with result num. Then else, the zero count will be incremented by one. So again, we'll have this statement. Then after that, we have to print the binary value of the result num so since it is in string here we have converted it to int and we'll use the slice operator to eliminate the prefix so now let us execute our program we'll pass our first test case so We have got the correct output. Then we'll pass our second test case. So here also we have got the correct output. Our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.